Ngai cha wadliana parani budnandi. Ngai bukiyana tawala kalana partu yatangir morni. Ngai cha wudliu wudliana ko manki madliti cha. Donki mariapi kunana. Ngai cha yatanindi manki. Tarkanana ninkawandi. Bukiyana tawala karkoyata. Narangana nai nari ne ngai bukiyana dawala nata yularindi kolanini bitti ngai budni ngai miratangi wangati yaki yit pitrukanga nyuchi muntonga bukiyana dawala kakoyata palta paltari yarari varana putana Pakati Budnati Ngai Cha Wanenga Ngamiana Ngai Kondai Nanga Padli Ngai Ngami Nyon Pipiti Bugiana Tawala Kakoyata Nata Nganarindi Wai Yulorindi Wilti Kaindi Nayacha Ngai Warni Ngayacha ngai padloengo, ngai warpuliandi tinduer yolo joandi. Tudno ngai kolana warni warniti bukiana tawala karkoyata. Ngaltinga warata ngai jerala jitpi yungati. Wandi katperitja jitpi tanaticha. Bukiana Dawala Kakoyata Marong Nangu Itu Botana Warpo Nai Danandi Kudla Yarlo Yatarindi Kadla Yarlo Korara Muntonga Nacha Yancha Kolana Natu Kangandi Narangana Panari Narangana That story, that language, is talking about the dispossessed coming home, coming home to country, to what we have left. The old women are passing on the story and the permission so that they now have to carry the story of the spiritual and cultural renewal on country. That language and that voice was my mother's voice. So the women now, the young ones who are coming, got to continue that story now, to care for country, to heal country, to cleanse country, and to hold what is sacred to us in our own lands for ourselves. So this is not entertainment, my friends. What this is is ceremony. A ceremony that's coming back to the people who have been dispossessed. You sit on our ancient land. And we thank you for coming here to honour us with your respectful presence in this time. Ma.
So the land, the mother, the stories coming through the generations, the pay respect always, the cleansing, the leaves, the wind, the circle. Now the circle is open and the pathways are here. In saying that, this next one that we have here now, Wadna, is about celebrating the circle of knowledge of wisdom, of strength and pride in who we are as the first people of country. The Aboriginal men, too many of our people are in the jails, too many young fellas, they need to be here with us in the circle. Enough is enough. But what now? Hey! What now? Hey! What now? Hey! 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 grandmothers come on me we honor our mothers Nyankita. we honor our aunties Nyapadma. our 
our life givers, nurturers, carers. Because of her, we can. can.
That, um, that story there is about honouring and um, the cocoon is um, a part of that story with the water and women is, in my culture, in our circle, we come from the Malawira me and a, a dry forest people from me on this side of the country here, from my grand, grandfather's line on this side and from my grandfather, uh, grandmother's line on the other side over there what they call Naranga country. I come from the Wari people, the bottom end people where Ennis National Park is. We're the wind people, the people of the wind down there. Delpa is part of our big story. So we're shark followers over there, but we've got a story over here which links us to the dry forest country as well. That day is very hard, that dance for the girls, because um, my daughter's actually crying here now because um, her grandmother isn't well. And um, this means so much more than just a performance, like I was saying to you all. It means um, the continuation of culture for us. So um, when, we, when we do this dance and we share these stories, it's all about the healing in that as well. This um, next dance is about an old dance that come together, come back, it's called the Kuri. And the Kuri is about the circle there and making that circle strong and keeping that circle strong because this follows the one that sits inside of it sits this way but he sits that way but well, when you turn him he spirals up and down see so our way what i've been taught and what i've been talking about for a long time land sea and sky country all ceremony is held in here everything is in here this is my hair woven like string see to make this here to bring this back the old way not going and taking the easy road because you have to earn it that's the road i always choose because it's a hard one but you know what it's the right one, and we'll always stick to that one there. So this one here now is the curry. Palletara contro. Now look at me. Wow, pana wul to minga. Tinyera. Now it's a makadicha. Tinyera. Mara wul to minga. Kara weri. Ninda Puro, Makabande. Hi. I'm Sara Karakande. 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 So this one here, Palletara. A lot of story, knowledge in this one. This one here, Contru. There's a connection between Kari, the circle. Ancestors above and below. There's no end to us. But in talking about the circle, the sacred mother, as they say, it's been broken. It's up to us to heal it. All of us in the spirit of humanity. So this is the dance that we do to bring everyone together, to understand us. First cultures, first people, first story, first land. First song since the first sunrise. First voice of the day. So when we share this dance, we share this ceremony, because it's important for us to continue the cultural and spiritual renewal for our grandmothers, our grandfathers, for our languages, for our people, for our clans, so we can come together in the right way, our way, before we got impacted. Ma.
This next dance, this next one, um, where's the ball? <coughs> this next dance I'm going to do, it's like a sharing dance, this one. This one's called Minyaguya. And this is like a spearfishing dance where the young fellas go out. Very important too because it's about sharing back the community and culture. This one here, Minyaguya. This next dance is about us, about Yelika, old Muslim new ways. And this is a, a story of the string. Well, that's a song. But um, this is choreographed by the young women with the biggest circle of women that are in support of that. And the story is coming from the old women passed down and they've been heard. So this one here, we talk about that string because in that string is a lot of games, but it's about how we hold that string. This one here, string games. Mwah.
Well, wasn't that deadly? Yeah, solid, eh? I only say that because when I was sitting there at the back there on the side, I was watching old people's faces and no smile. That means it must be good, must be deadly. Yeah, especially with the women, our women, our Aboriginal women. <laughs> you always got to listen to them because they're the rules. Am I correct? They're now culture anyway. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, but I don't think a lot of other followers, I think there's other people that might need to know a bit more about that. Yeah, because this is where it all starts and this is where it all begins and stops right here in the circle, yeah? So, um, I don't do welcomes, we don't do welcome. Um, we never have. We first did, um, well, I first did language greeting to country greeting to Spirit of Place back in 97 for the takeover story down at the Torrens River. And this is just a little yarn, quick way. I saw with my mum. There was the first Indian, uh, First Nations American Indian woman who come. And she said, no, well, we don't do that. We, how do we uh, welcome people? Because, you know, we keep having to fight for our treaty. <laughs> all the time because they keep trying to remove it from us. So no, we can't welcome followers, we've got to greet them. Because <laughs> you've got to look at them like, she said, children. Can't trust them. <laughs> Even when they get big. You might leave lollies on the bench, little followers, they'll take them. Straight out. You know? Leave your car keys on the table when they got their license, car gone. Yeah? So you know what I'm getting at here, aren't I? Yeah. But um, when we talk about those things, we talk about it as a greeting to the spirit of place. Because we need to greet each other really first. We really, really need to sit down and talk about that Makarata that we really need for us all. Yeah, to get to that place. And we don't need maybe, maybe we need a new government system maybe. Maybe all the women need to be in the circle. Yeah? Do you think? I don't know. <laughs> but I think with us all dealing with this new thing that's in the world now that's changed our lives forever, I won't mention the name because it's all about the reset and it's all about the circle. And when I talk about this one dance here with my nephew now, Kana Kari Martin is going to do this dance and share this dance, which is him now in the two worlds. I give him that name, Kari. Kari is the emu. Emu's big story on country, but big story in the stars too. That's how we connected, like I say, land, sea, sky country. We know when things move, we know when things change, we know when things make noise and they sing out. Thus, human nature, natural world, not nature. We don't say nature, because it's in here. It's in here, it's in all of us. So we've got to stop separating ourselves from that. And this fellow is going to show you how with this dance here. This is Cody, the emu.
Come on now, that was deadly, Anna. Yes. This next dance um, is from an old song that was recorded a long time ago. And uh, like I was saying, from the country, the bottom end country down that way, where we are, the wind people down that way, Dilpa. And uh, this is an old song that was recorded by one of the old grandmothers there that lived on country there. And they knew the places, the names of everything all around the place, yeah? We, that's what they called us, Dilpa is like shark, one of the shark, you know? We've got Gorida and that there, language and all that. And we must be, because we go out butter fishing and stuff like that. We go diving all the time. We know that big fella's there. I haven't known for a long time. But till this day, not one black fella been taken. Because we got like this here in the water, they know we're there. But we always pay that respect, see? Maybe the mother fella's gone wrong time, maybe doing wrong thing. Hmm, taking too much. Yeah? Maybe. Well, this dance here is about Parabara, and this is a song about the Gurti, the Kondong tree. It's closely associated to that curry there, that emu. Talks about seasons and the sun and everything else that's inside of that as well. Like I said before, I was talking about it a little bit. Women are the rock and the water and men is the tree and the fire. And the wind is the law that flows between us. That is my family story. That's what my mum say. That's what she say. So when you hear it out there in the circle, just say, hey, we know where that story come from. Who told you that? Got to keep it strong in the circle. This next dance here then, which uh, hey bub, you're on? Are you okay? All right. This one here is the dance of Parabara. Kwandong. Ma.
I would like to share now is um, part of a story that we have now with the fire, Krala. And this one here is with the song, but it's also about the ancestors. And this is uh, knowledge coming back now. Because of fire, that's what um, kept this whole country clean. We managed this for a long time. So we want to make this one here. We make it for all the old women. The generations that are here now that are moving through, almost going forward. But also for the generations that have come before and the ones that are still coming. So we make this one here for the spirit of the earth, for us, the heart. And that is calling the ancestors here, calling the old fellas up there, because that's where they are. The stick we use is color burto. Color is fire, and burto is heart. So it's what's inside the stick. Yeah? So you really got to know what you're looking for, especially when it's inside, hidden inside that stick, you know? It's like fire. So this is the one that's being passed on now to the younger followers about this story. Making fire no. our way, the proper way, on country. In this season that we're in now, heading into Bukhara, that's where the north winds start coming. And we get this here. When the north wind come, rain come, storm come. Go calm like this here right now. This one lightning might come too, see? Make fire on the ground, different places. But when fire come here, now a lot of places they can burn now. Because our way of managing and working with the country like this here through fire stopped a long time ago. And this is something we need all of your followers support to say this is something we need to bring back. Is that right? And getting the little followers out there on country with us so they can learn what the fire means on country. And what, is, what, is, what does it mean actually to be, I guess, what does Australia mean? And what does that mean? We all got different names for it, all of our cultures. And that's another thing too. I put these pathways here around this story, but it's about acknowledging all the different cultures that are here, the First Nations people from everywhere. And that means everybody, everyone, because we're all, aren't we um, just citizens of Mother Earth? Yeah. So we make this fire here, color, color, for everyone here. And we're going to make this fire here like this here. We've got our two fire vessels here. They're in between the five paths that we've got here. So we're covering just about all the directions. There's us and there's everyone in the circle. It's like the hand, eh? The five layers, the five stories, five fingers, five toes. Must be five different ways of doing something then, eh? Within those five ways of doing something, must have get it right, eh? I don't know, but we're still waiting for the fifth to come so people can sit down and listen to us around our fire. Colour. Ma, 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 colour now. Now, young fella got to work out how to get that one from there to here. <laughs> Let's have a knock and no. You know, you know, you know. That's how we learn, see? So we make this one this fire now, and we're going to put these leaves on there. Like I said before, that's about the men, but it's about the law and the wind that comes through that. We want to create that smoke to share with everyone. And this 
like the polio. See? Wind must be floor, eh? If I don't talk unless I talk. So we have a conversation now. Yeah? You believe me? I don't know. Might be silly black fella, eh? <laughs> but that little people are looking. That little fella there. Little cruise, he knows. I'm gonna put that one on there. And now we're gonna light this one now with the stories now. We've got these other ones up here behind us. These are part of totem, part of story on country. The first one is Yura, over this way here. Yura is that big story of that snake there, yeah? Creation, all around this country, but all around the world. This one here is Yura. And young fellow here, Cade Pickett, who's lighting that one there, he got a big story from his country. For this fellow here, different name, but story connection. Oh, no. Next fella, we got young Aiden here, Martin. Purdanyi. Listen to the language now. Hey, and he's gonna go and like this fella over here. That's the Gawana. Next fella is Cody. The emu, the dance and the song. Here, come here. Here, my nephew. So this young Alan Wombat. He couldn't make it the rehearsals. That's him. Don't go. Ma, that's him. He couldn't make it to one rehearsals, didn't he? But he's happy to be here with his uncle and his family here on the country on the Monday. Dancing together, huh? And you're gonna go out there now and light that one, Tanda. Tanda is a red kangaroo. I saw that hill line up there running all the way up there, big story through country there. Tandania is just over there too. Don't forget, this is all put on by Tandania. It's advertised under the fringe, but big hand for Tandania because you know what? Ten Daniel's been there since 1980. And it'd be a shame to see it go. And it shouldn't go. Because it's the old spirit that lives in that place. Yeah? They can talk about all these new places. That's all right. That's okay. But those new places, they're going to crawl first, eh? Then they're going to get a little bit taller. And who's going to be there to teach them how to do that? Ten Daniel. The old fella, you always got to have that guidance. So, in saying that, we stand at the side here now. The fella spread out. The last one that you can see there, it's not lit yet, is a story about the peace law on country. And um, this is where mum, Nyaki Burke Mikowi, Georgina Williams, and she's sitting here with her sister, Annie Joan Lamont, and her other sister, cousin, Annie Rosalind Wietro. And they've been a part of this story with us for a long time. Well, I grew up since a little follow with my mum walking country. 
That's why my family and that's why we do what we're doing now, holding on to culture, protecting our places so that you can come and be connected to the natural world with us. Mum. Long time ago, the dreaming came back to me. I followed it up because I loved the old people. They were all gone when I was 12. The last one being my grandfather, Joe Edwards. And he was the son, or the grandson rather, of um, the great grandson actually, of the old King Tommy from over, or what you called our men of high degree. We call them men of high degree. You call them kings and queens and stuff like that. You put that down in your books when you write it. But he was the chief man, anyway, of the four tribes of the Narunga people, of which I am from my mother. But from my father, coming home to country was difficult because he was taken from home, as you have probably heard about, taken, um, moved from the country and from the land and then to one place and then another and another. So with the refugees situation being what it is, I have to say to them, keep your creativity of your culture from whence you came. Because if we are going to be together as the human family, we have to know who we are and to be able to speak from the heart to one another because we need the heart. And the heart is from the, the Bible, Jesus, and Jesus um, was the one who gave us the heart. And so that's why we have the images that we do, comes from the Bible and from Jesus. And Jesus was the New Testament and the Old Testament belonged to the church. At 12 years of age on the mission life, I left the church after my papa died and said to my mother, what is happening here, mum, is that I see that the church is turning the men's minds upside down because they cannot sing their own, they cannot, they cannot be in their own culture. Because I had old people dance for me, Uncle George Turner, who came from, I think, Arabana people, but some married to my auntie. So he used to still dance and paint up and things like that. So I knew all of that and loved it all from a little girl. And then I watched them all pass on. And by the time I was 12, my papa died. All the old people were gone. And I felt all alone. However, that's when the gates opened up from the mission life. So for I am from the first, Canado and there's two boys, and then my grandmothers, and then my <coughs> mother, and then myself. I'm down to the fifth generation. So as the fifth generation, I was still born into the slave situation, enslaved by the gates that were, were not open to come and go from. So I wanted, I love my dad because he taught me uh, many things. He taught me how to be strong. He taught me how not to give in, how to get up if you got knocked down, get up and have a go again and keep going and keep going until you succeeded. That was my dad. And so with my dad, I said, Dad, where are you from? You're not from here, Naranga country. Where you come from? And he said, yeah, I'm from here. I was born here. I said, well, that doesn't make you come from here, though. He said, yeah, well, that, he said, yeah, well, that's true. I never thought about it before, but yes, you're right. So I said, well, where? All them bunkers, and bunker means the people of the lakes. That's what the word means. And there were bunkers living on a mission, and they knew Dad, and I knew that they were my family, but I didn't know how. But I knew that they were the bunkers and people of the lakes, and so they my fathers, and I put it to him, Dad, you must remember something, um, because old grandfather would have shown you th things when you were a kid. And because when I'm a kid, you taught me so much about how to, where the wind was coming from, when the clouds, you see them coming, 
where the fish was going to be because he was a fisherman and he would always go and get those big expensive fish, the big king whiting. You know, you can't afford to have them these days, eh? <laughs> well, he knew where to get them. <laughs> and he'd just look at the weather, oh, well, and he had a little flat bottom dinghy that could tip over with a bloody storm. <laughs> Sorry. Very easy, but he, would, he could time it to get out there, get that fish and come back with a paddle before he got a little outboard motor. That then he made it easy. But that was my father. And he taught me mathematics when I'm a kid. And he taught me the, dial, the time on the clock when I'm a kid. But he taught it to me through the sun, the shadow of the sun, and where it lies. And where the clock said that time, we go out there and you look and you stand there and you see where the time says. And so you will always know what's the time when you go walking over the country, which I did a lot of as a kid and never came home. And most of the time, um, I, I didn't have anything to eat when I came home because it was all gone. Because if you weren't home to share in the pot, and when the pot was empty, that was just too bad for you. So I ate the last wild foods that there was around as a little kid. And that was not all the kids. My cousin Tony Williams and my um, distant, more distant cousin Mom. from the bottom end was my um, Car Caroline Graham was her name. And she, us three, we would wander around. We had wild horses chase us. Dive through the fence, three kids out there by ourselves. Mind you, good luck, dog. It was a good thing that the horse had hobbles on it, otherwise he'd got us. But he, but he never. <laughs> so I grew up wild girl, the last wild girl on Point Pierce. But I grew up with all the old people that I love so much as the Aboriginal people. I got put into girls' homes. I did, you know, everything that ever happened to anybody happened to me. Anyway, I am also a poet today. And, well, not even today, I just did it. I, well, actually, what I did when I started writing <laughs> the poetry was with Chasm, and I wished to put it to music. So Oof. I went to Chasm from the first, um, and you don't know these things, I know, but from the first place, which was the, um, the university, to go into um, the task force, and many of my people did, and they came from all over Australia to go to the task force. And from the task force, I said, what am I doing getting this um, Aboriginal studies when there's all Aboriginal people here? What do we want to do with Aboriginal studies? We've got two things to do. Associate diploma in, um, you know, um, you could go on to university with that um, and then do whatever degree you, you could do or you wanted to do. But I only went there to do the... The, the letters to write to banks to get money. How will I get the money to run the organisations? Because that's what everybody was doing, but they didn't know how to handle the money. And we didn't know anything about the money. And I said to my mother... OK, um, I always run out of time when I'm talking. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so now, <clears throat> because... Oh, a poem. Oh, the, yeah. Poem. Well, I have to do my poem after I talk about Jibrooki, okay? okay? Because um, I, I, I'm a deadly poet and I didn't even know it. Hey! Hey, no, don't. It's true. That's why I went to Chasm, so I could sing it as songs. And not only, I, I read the music, I was tuneless, I couldn't sing at all. So I read the notes and when, the, when I sounded my, my uh, voice to the notes, then I knew where my voice was and suddenly I did have a voice and suddenly, yes, I could sing. But I didn't know how to sing like everybody else, all the other Nungas. They just had to play the guitar and yeah, yeah. the voice came out and they all sung. Yeah. And so, and mine was sadness. Like, the old one's gone, now the dying young. What is there for my sons? Yeah. Um, things like that, you know, because... I saw that there were nothing. There was nothing for them, and that's why, with my father's country being the the story of Jabruki and the land of Jabruki, uh, was all our clan. We found our way home with clan country, but mainly because my father told me what his father told him. Because he could read the stars in the night, and I said to him, "Dad, you can do this." If uh, you remember what grandfather told you, and you can see the hills, you was a boy, you could tell me all about that. 
And he said, yeah, and he's old and he can't move and we've got to carry him around. And I saw the young fella here, he's not so young anymore, he's old grandfather himself now. He used to carry him around for me when he got in the car. Boom, boom. And we went to the places, the song places, every place where Jabruki travelled, I went and he helped me take my dad there. And he's sitting over there with his missus, <laughs> Les. Les Flynn. <laughs> Les Cecilia, Flynn Les and, Cecilia Flynn. and Cecilia, and they are still helping me hmm? now that I'm on my way somewhere else. Now, um, what which way now? Which way now? No, my poem. Okay. All right. Well, the last one I wrote is this. Now, you might not like it, but it goes like this. Is that you, death? Come knocking on my door, this doorway to eternity. Is this my house? You creep up in the night shadows, and violently you shake me. Why do you wake me so rudely from my slumbers? Tis not I who must forever die, burning in these hell fires. No, death, you must pass us by, for we are the children of our mother, the earth, and are one with life in the creation. Cast not your shadow upon our doorway this doorway to eternity. This is what you all have to do. Family of humanity, come back together. You are in the spiritual, most spiritual place on the earth that has been here for all of the time immemorial and we are the first people, not the first Australians. We are the last Australians. We only became so in 1967, I think it was that we were allowed to be like everyone else. So when you hear that, make an objection to it and say, no, they're the first people of this land that goes back in time for forever time. That's who they are. Mm -hmm. you yeah. And we are the survivors of that ancient long history of the land, which I've been still fighting for, but the people, the, the, the capitalizing on, the imperial capitalists, let's say, because that's where it is now, okay? Gone from capitalism to imperialism, imperial capitalism. So you know where that is? All these multinationals that's coming from everywhere in the world, that's controlling everything. How many families are they? About 60, or might be even less and less now. Their conglomerates have grown bigger and bigger and they've, you know, sold about here and sold about there. So now we're all in it together. So let's find out humanity in common that belongs to us all. Okay, let's find that in ourselves. Because it still dwells there and save the ancient wisdoms that lie in this land that you call home now. Thank you. That's him. That's him. Honey. Honey. Honey, Thank you, Georgina, for that. Um, my name is Kudnado, third born child with Ghana language, and third born child of 15 kids. Georgina is the eldest. She's the matriarch of these, this family uh, who's performed here tonight and shown um, that there is Aboriginal culture in this country, on this land today. And they are so proud of what and how they perform. And they te trying to tell a story out there to all of you that we are here and black lives do matter. I'm going. <laughs> <Nailed> it. Oh. <laughs> I no cried one, for those here. girls when they danced because they they danced up the spirit, the old spirits on this country. Mm. And we are, like Georgina says, the oldest race on the planet. And we should be revered. Not put down. We have our People are dying. We had three funerals last week. I don't want to go on.
because we have children here and feel sad all the time. Um, but we need to be together in our fight for us. Much, much, much. We have a culture and we have a message and we have stories to tell. We have sacred sites. And you need to listen to them because we are going to be destroyed. This government, Labor, the Liberal federal government, is not supportive of us retaining our culture. At Townley College, they cut that, and Townley College is an Aboriginal community college where we all Aboriginal people, child after child after child. I'm in my 70s and Georgina's in her 80s. You know, we're very lucky to have lived that far, thus far, as Aboriginal people in this country, this affluent country. But I suppose it's because we have the best health available for all of us. And hey, I, don't, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. But um, we feel a bit sad because my sister's not well and we cried tears as we all shed tears, always. There's always sadness within our Aboriginal community. But uh, I don't want to be sad. I mean, my son died of brain cancer. No, I'm just going to say that, and I cried for 12 months. And then I woke up one day and I thought, well, if I wash my body, I eat, and I change my clothes, and I do all the things that people do, well, then I must want to live. And then I started to live and be grateful and thankful for what is God is abundantly beautiful, this country, and we all need to take care of it. Thank you. There's not a lot I can add to what's already been said by my two elders, <laughs> Georgina and Joan. And it was there when I was a young girl and taught me so much uh, about life and about culture and the strength of being a woman in, uh, in the family. But um, just tonight, having heard all that, I would just like to add that it's really good just to be here, get over all them hot days that we had, come here, watch these beautiful, beautiful young people of ours, the young wi women, the young men, hey. and dance and our fella. dance. <laughs> and the whole fella. <laughs> We've got an old man at the back here. And that's what uh, keeps me going, being able to participate, be involved, and be here with family. And to see some of my family out there supporting that as well. So thank you and have a good night. Yes, I'm Is it still? Um, using thank you. Thanks, Rosalind. Um, yeah, well, in our old way, you see, there's so much going on that we could talk about, but we need for you to come to listen to those stories, which are actually still current in the dispossession of our people, in particular our babies. But the stories that live on are the tales of the ancient wisdoms of the land. And that is our relationship and the spirit relationship because 50, uh, 25 million people are the number of people here now. And out of that 25 million, something like 300,000 is left of us. So where does all the money go that's supposed to be spent on Aboriginal people when we can't even depend on getting a taxi for ourselves because our legs are getting too weak to carry us as old people. We can't do that because some administrator is sitting up there saying what it is we can have out of all of these bucks that they say we have, Aboriginal people, um, and we can't do that. Anyway, my thing that I'd last thing I'd like to say is protect what's happening to Jabruki because Jabruki is being wiped out right now. And Jabruki tells the story of the peace law of the old man that had to yep. carry out the law 
He was the man that held the law. It was in his hands and he had to carry out the law and, and it was about mischievous nature of ourselves as human beings and he had to kill, put to death his own family, all of his own family. And it made him so sad that he couldn't live anymore as a man, as an old man. And as he travelled and he carried the bones of his favourite nephew, of the three were all his nephews, and he carried them and he stopped at certain places and he stopped at those sites which are where his tears, when he shed his tears. And they are still here. Those of you who think about the Bible and Jesus and God, well, Jesus was real, but God we still don't know about yet, all of us, right? So, but with Jibruki telling the story about what happened in our world when 10,000 plus years ago, those places are still there and you can identify them both geologically with science or you can go to the place and see the water still there where his tears lie. So that is what I'm still at 81 years of age. I am now. I had my birthday a couple of days ago, oh, about a week ago, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I can still dance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so until I leave this body and my spirit goes to where it goes, I want to know to take my journey home to the keeper of the peace law, the ancestor, and is still here in the little bird while we have to protect the ground and the land and where the little birds dance around or where they sit in solitude or where they stay in particular places. That's a part of this story. So there are things you need to know when you're now being here and calling this place your home to share with us. So far, people who've come have shared nothing with us. Always administering something, but never sharing anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. All right. Deadly. Thank you. Turn from the elders there now, and now it's time to hear from the young fellas too. You now. Jakira, want to say a couple of words? Yeah. Um, my name is Jakira. This is my dad. This is my family and this is my people. Um, Go on, um, there's a lot of healing that happened tonight. And I'm very grateful that you're all here among, um, among us, the first peaceful peoples of this nation, along that journey with us and sharing emotion with us. Um, it's very important for the little people to be here today because you're the voices of tomorrow, we're the voices of today and it's important that we have the voices of 60,000 years among us here today as well to listen to. Good thing, I tell you. I'm representing my line along with other people from other lines. Um, my people, my culture, it's about togetherness and being together. We're stronger together. <laughs> and tonight we're here together. <laughs> Speaking about the, um, the voices of tomorrow, it's very important that there's not many of our elders left <laughs> that have that culture. It was taken and it was stolen from us. And it's very important that those of you that have culture to go back and learn it and those of you that walk this country walk it softly because the ancestors are still here and the dream time is the oldest story living in the sky in the water and in the country as my father says the land the sea and the sky country it, it's all a big map and you may know this but Tandanya is a very important story because there's there's a kangaroo that lies in, along this country Tanda, the red kangaroo and there's a lot of knowledge that our people have shared with the people that came here years ago and it was also taken from us and now it's become this but it's important we're very weary about who we share that with but we're very grateful that we were able to share it with you tonight even though it's just a glimpse of our culture it's important for you to see that it still exists and it's still here and it's still thriving and it's still living and it's getting older and our people are getting older, but our stories are always there and they always will be there. <laughs> <laughs>
Ma. And it's important for you to listen to them and see them in our country. Thank you. Ma. All right, just before I'm... See? And the old men, see, that's why we've got none of the old men here, because a lot of them pass away, you know? But um, I just want to say quickly before... Um, I'll say something at the end, just quickly, Rose, but I'm going to bring Kano in too now. You've got to say something too from the younger fella's voice and my nephew there. So the male and the female voice there now combined. But just while he's just about to grab the phone, I just want to introduce everyone. We've got... I'll do that at the end, and I'm going, Kano, you have your own first one. Fire Ali. Well, it's hard to... Um really talk about all of these things that we have spoken about tonight. Um, it's hard to top everything that's been said as well. Far. But no, I just think that I want to say, you know, because it's funny as well, because the man's supposed to be the strong one. Hey, you're right. But it's hard to do that when the thing... Uh, it's hard to do that when the things that could have been are almost forgotten. You know, the followers that you see in front of you, my immediate family anyways, my uncle, my nana there and my aunties, we're the last of our bloodline that is striving to make our stories um, heard. Um, and we're the last that is yearning to have our culture um, stay something that should be seen as relevant in everyone's eyes. Um, like Jakira and everyone has already said, we all come from different bloodlines, but we all got Aboriginal blood in us. In our veins, in our stories, they all want the one thing, and that is not to be forgotten because it's almost happened. So this is why we're here before you today. And so I thank you for coming along. Right. I don't know what else to say. Right. <laughs> I hear them little birds here all going tit 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 like that there. Trin Trin. What? Love is a verb, Mum says. A, verb, a, doing word. a doing word. Remember that. It's about action. So it's about humanity, love each other. But I just wanted to say um, that also this year has been. Thank you for staying here with us. We need more of this. But you can come with us too. We got tours that we run down on country too, down south around the Jabruki the sites and stories, starting at Waripari, which is Waripringa, heading down that way down south. We're developing. We're starting to get back a little bit of country. Maybe a little bit more than that one foot, eh? Then you'd be able to sit down like this here with us and have fire, sit down, learn the dances, learn the stories with us because this is what needs to happen for these little people. So we're on and doing that as well. But um, tonight, there are also a lot that's happening over at Tandania. They have the, um, the First Nations Hub over there. Um, it's been pulled together. It's a, it's a massive show. Um, it's just an amazing uplift of Tandania, yeah. Tandania hasn't been the best because, like Mum said, about administration and all them things, you know. <laughs> We're not really given many chances. Do you know what I mean? We're always behind the eight ball, you know. It's like um, consultation. You know what that word means, eh? For us? Yeah, for us. Us looking at you, looking at us, looking back. I mean, not you fellas I'm talking about. The mother mob over there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's it behind that, that coat of that arms there, whatever, anyway. Could talk about that forever but the stories are really strong you can see that the circles here and the people are here we're here the country's here we're still singing the country and um we just want to thank you all of us like for too, well we can do that in a minute there mum oh you want to yeah i have got to be careful now see <laughs> i might have to run that path this but no won't you? no I'll say it, okay, but I wanted to thank Don Chapman there, Mum's friend that's been here for a long time working with Mum. Les Cecilia, and all the other people here, I can't see everyone, like I'm getting old follow now, but I can't see everyone, but everyone that's worked on this and pulled this together, and especially all of the family, 
especially Waraparinga, because that's been mum's life work. Mum won't tell you all of that sort of stuff, right? But 45 years she's been working for the survival of that Jabruki story. It came to her when she was... Didn't even know because it was a man's story supposed to be, see? And she's handed over now to a young fellow like me, her son, the only one who's still here and been here and will be here till the end um, with mum to carry on that story, yeah? Yeah, and the next generations as well as they learn more as they're going along. Um, but that's it, because we're losing all of the natural spaces. We're not, we're not, you know, we just got to stand up together and say, no, we need to really support this. So come down south, have a knuckin'. Down that way, there's a lot of friends of different groups if you're not a friend of those groups. But look us up, Yellika, it's Yell, A-K-A. -A. So yes, like us on Facebook. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't grow up with all this stuff, true as God. I'm just making, you know, I'm just, yeah, but follow Tandanya too, because Tandanya needs your support as well. And then we'll walk on country and journey through country together. And what better way than doing anything is doing it together. And we can move beyond reconciliation. Thank you. So, from all of us. Yeah, one one from, last thing is, um, um, our people and the people of Australia is about keep, keeping connected and you can keep connected to us as dad said with the social media and stuff but this shouldn't be a once a year thing throughout the French it shouldn't it shouldn't be once a year it should be every day and NAIDOC week a week isn't long enough to celebrate the oldest living culture in the world it should be every day and I just want everyone to just walk away and just take a couple of things a couple of lessons that you've learnt and a couple of things that you've heard away with you today um yeah thank you Thank you all, everybody. I'll introduce everybody. Nakandi, yeah, yeah, I'll introduce everybody. I'll start down this end here. Aiden, Aiden Martin, step forward. Aiden Martin, save, save the clap while you're going. Sing out then. And. Nah, nah, I don't want to Hey, I should be over at Gluttony, you know, no. Nah. No, nah. next follow. Alan Wombat, nephew. <laughs> Next one, Tanae Giles. Niece. Next one is my lovely Arnie. Arnie Bobby. Arnie Bobby. Arnie Roslyn. Arnie Bobby. <laughs> and next one is Takana, my second born daughter. Kana Telfer. And my lovely mother, Georgina Yambo Williams. Kardanya Yambo Williams. And my firstborn daughter, Jakira Telfer. My, my niece here, Sherry. My lovely auntie, Annie Jane Crudnado. My oh, lovely niece here, Lakeisha Pickett. Woo! And my other deadly nephew here, Lucky, Lucky, you know, Lucky, Kate Pickett. Woo! And my big nephew here, Karna Martin. Woo! So we are Yelika. Yeah. Old wisdom, new ways. And that's my dad, Carl Telfer. Oh, oh. <laughs> deadly. Thank you all very much. We really, um, we really uh, tribute to the respect. So thank you very, very much for coming tonight. And uh, walk, with, walk softly, walk with peace in your heart, in your minds. And hopefully, like the circle, we say nakara. It's never goodbye until our powers meet again. So I'll be watching you like that. That's why I put them on the ground here, that finger. Hey, who's that? Hey, how you going? I'll be knocking on you there, look here. That way too, here, look, that way, and this fellow here, over here. Yeah. Another important so, person that's thank you. part of this dance group is my mum, Sonia Waters, over yes. there in the background. There she is, over here. Come out here, Sonia, please. Hey, no, no, we've got to get our little youngest member up here, too. Cruz. Here, come here, Cruz, come here. That's our youngest member here that's just come in into the group, there you Oh. <laughs> you right there for what? Yeah? It's good to see you here tonight with us all. So this is all of us here together. Over. And um, 
What do you reckon? Deadly or what? Deadly. You'll be out here next they year. reckon right? deadly. Yeah, you're going to be here next year for your followers. Deadly? Deadly. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, thank you very much, everybody. And that's it, I think. Until next time, mate. Eh? Thank you. No, no. Aiden, you show, Cal? you got to go and do a show. Yeah, Aiden, you got a cruise here, Aiden. Yeah, you all right? Yeah, I've got to find it on the mic because the staff yeah, can't got see it. Which way? Isabella, where are you? Isabella. Wondy, wondy, wondy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right? Where is she? Where is she? Hey, you want to come with her mum, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm with her. No, no, we don't have another one. Aiden's got a... Yeah,